Target versus Walmart. Which store is the best to go to for Pokemon cards? Today is going to be a head-to-head -head competition where I have a $50 budget at each of these stores. I'm going to be heading out in just one second, but I want to let you know that we're going to be ranking things such as inventory and selection, price, and what kind of cards we pull. Oh, and I almost forgot before we head out, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away every single card that I pull from today's video. There's going to be two winners. One person gets the target pulls. The other person gets the Walmart pulls. Head to the giveaway. Number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. And then the big question of the day, which store do you think is going to win this thing? Comment down below, either Target or Walmart. No more time to waste. Let's go. First stop, Target. But it's raining. Run. First stop, and there's a pretty big selection here. Wow, they actually got Shining Fates. We got the Vivid Voltage reprints, Darkness of Blaze, more Shining Fates. I don't think I've seen these before. We got Battle Styles and Fusion Strike in here. Brilliant Stars, single pack, tons of tins, and the new Lucario boxes. The stock right now is actually looking really good in Target. All right, I definitely want to grab one of these. Let's get a Munchlax mini tin. Yeah, let's grab one of these too because I've never opened this before. Can't go wrong with Brilliant Stars. And let's get one of these Evolving Skies. But I also want to check in the back to see if there's anything else. Looks like there's no cards back here, just a bunch of toys. We just left Target. They had a really nice selection, but we just got to Walmart, so we're going to see what they have. I'm also curious how the prices are. Does Target have better pricing or does Walmart have better pricing? Let's find out. So I literally never vlog, and the day I choose to vlog, it rains all day. The selection is so bad. There's nothing here. Barely a quarter of what Target had, I think. Pikachu V, Spring Collection. They have Yu-Gi-Oh. $22? That's definitely more. Bolton V for $22. Well, we can grab a Bolton V, but we're gonna have to check the back because there's nothing here. Oh, 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 oh. Boom! That's decent. Oh, they have all the Shining Fates boxes. I haven't seen these around. So many people steal. What is happening? Oh, they got Sword Shield base set too. That's just never going to go away, I guess. Okay, so we're going to take this, but this is 25 buckarooskies. And I'm going to put this Bolton box back. I changed my mind. These are 40 though. The ETBs at Target, I believe, are $45. So that's pretty good. But like everything else, I feel like is way over. And the mini tins are $10. So they're another buck. I believe these are $5.50 as well. I think they were $4.50 in Target. So with $25 in the cart, we don't have that many options left. So I say we just grab this $15 double blister. So that puts us at $40. I guess we just gotta grab one of these. Sir fetched, you're our guy. So the first thing I wanna start off with is how much inventory they had of Pokemon cards just in general. I think Target definitely won that one because there was just so much stuff on the shelf. So I gotta give Target the point on that one. So not so much as how much stock they had total, but how many different things they had. At first, I thought Target was going to win this, but afterwards, when I went to the back where Walmart had the extra stuff, I think it pretty much tied it. So we're going to give one point to each of them. The next thing I want to rate is the average price for the Pokemon cards. It definitely seems like Walmart has increased prices on a bunch of different items. There were boxes there that Target had for $20, and Walmart had them for $22, some even $25. Even things like the mini tins, the two-pack blisters, and the single-card blister packs all seem to be more expensive at Walmart. One thing Walmart was actually cheaper on were the ETBs. I think they had them for $40 and Target sells them for $45. So we're giving another point to Target, but it's not quite over for Walmart. We have one last thing to do. So I want to start off with Target and see what kind of stuff we get. I mean, at the end of the day, maybe it just is kind of depends on what you pull, right? I mean, we all just want to get really good hits. So maybe this could be the deciding factor. We're just going to see how it plays out. Like if Walmart has some serious heat in those packs, I guess they could technically win this thing. But let's start off here until we get out of our first pack. We got a Gengar V for Target. Oh, okay, that was actually really nice. Next up, we have a Chilling Rain pack out of our mini tin here. Then we're going to move on to the next item from Target. It's, I think it's still anybody's game, honestly. Ghastly, oh, the Tornado's V. Get another V card. Stacking the hits at Target. We have our single Evolving Skies sleeved booster pack here. We got the Rayquaza. Let's see what we get in this one. All right, here we go. Um, code card out, and then we'll I'll just go straight through it. I'm not going to do the pack trick on these, but I'm just going to go straight through it. I just want to see what's going to happen. Man, we keep pulling V cards three in a row. I don't know. Target might win this now. Next up is going to be our Brilliant Stars single booster pack, if I can get it open. All right, one minute later. Here we go. Code card out, and then we do have this nice flapple. Get this junk out of the way, and let's get into our single pack here. So we had three hits in a row. Three packs, all of them had a hit. All right, we'll go straight through. Staryu, Riolu, can we get four in a row? Bow Toy, and we cannot Electivire or Non-Hollow. All right, let's crush into this big boy. We got the Shining Fates Pikachu V collection box. Well, we got two Charizard artworks. And our booster packs. Let's see what we can get out of these. All right, pack number one. Now, already watch this, watch this. You know how I've been trying to pull the shiny Charizard? I'll pull it for one of you guys here if I pull it today because I always pull it when I give the card away. 
Dreadnought. Next booster pack is another Charizard. Let's go through it. Shanks, Horsey, Yanma. Morpeko, Coughing. Dreadnought. Shiny baby Pokemon. And Boss's Orders. I, I mean, we're stacking up the hits. They're not like the greatest hits. Most of them are V cards, but they're still hits, right? We still got stuff. Coughing. Oh, never mind. Lapras. V Max. Shiny Rainbow Bull. Okay, that yeah, that changed it up a little bit. Yo, Target is actually crushing it. Is Walmart gonna like recover from this? Yo, Walmart, I'm sorry, Walmart, you're gonna have to just be even crazier. Walmart is gonna have to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Team Target. Oh, and the amazing rare and the Cramorant V Max. Yo, that might have been the nail in the coffin for uh, Walmart there. The last item for Target here is gonna be this item that I've actually never opened up before. Expand your collection with two Pokemon TCG booster packs, metal pin feature, powerful Pokemon. Let's see what we got. Start off with battle styles. Last two packs here. I have so many hits to the side of me right now. It's actually ridiculous. I don't know. Walmart, we're going to have to get some craziness right now. And pulling on V, still pulling stuff. Man, I got the hot hands. I know how to pick out the right stuff. All right, last pack for Target is going to be. Oh my God, bro. What? <laughs> Mew V alternate artwork. No way! Yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but Walmart, you're gonna need a Pokemon Miracle right now to win this thing. Oh my god, bro. What is even happening right now? I can't even... There's so many hits! I was not expecting this. Well, we're on Walmart now. And remember, we couldn't buy that much because everything was uh, a lot more expensive than Target. But we do have this tin. Surfeshed. Who am I kidding? R.I.P. Walmart down below in the chat. That's it. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm. I don't know if you can. I don't know how you can recover. You need. You need so much stuff. All right. So we got a coin. Suicune. Oh, it's actually Rubble Clash. Oh, hold up. Is it not game over yet? Okay. I didn't realize these were in there. Actually, that was a pretty good pickup at that price. That wasn't bad because I was not expecting there to be cosmic in that. Even Rebel Clash is getting pretty old. Okay. I think Walmart might have a little fight left. Growlithe. Okay. The battle is still moving. Oh, Corsolod, just a regular hollow. All right, so we do, we, we have a little, little glimmer of hope here because Cosmic is a really cool set that could potentially have some bangers. I'm even going to do the pack trick on this one. I want to keep the suspense for this Walmart thing going because, uh, like, honestly, we did get the Mew alt art. We need something like just absolutely insane. Uh, probably two crazy, crazy pulls. Like two all arts, two tag teams. Oh, oh, it ain't over yet, bro. Oh my God, the battle wages on. This is incredible. Pikachu. Oh my God, the subset, the subset into a Swana. Okay, okay, it's definitely not over yet. So this was a fifty dollar card from Target, but we literally just pulled a forty dollar card from Walmart. I did not expect anything like this at all. I didn't even expect Target to have all those hits, but this battle is definitely not over. Our Target could actually still win this. This is like a freaking roller coaster of events. All right, so we got our two packs, Vivid and Fusion. I mean, shoot, you give me the, the Rainbow Charizard, Walmart wins the thing. Walmart, honestly, like there's a lot of V-cards and there was that Lapras, but like, I'm just saying if Walmart pulls just a huge hit, like a Rainbow Chonkachu or something, I think that that's, that's it. All right, Fusion. Let's keep this going. This is nuts. Mining, Battle Toy, and a non hollow. Oh, we, we're flying through these packs. We only have one more sealed product left from Walmart, though, because uh, the prices there weren't as easy on our budget, our $50 budget. Cramorant. Oh, the gold guard. Oh, my God. What is, what is even happening? Yo, this is actually nuts. Telescopic sight. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, so I must have forgot or I didn't realize there's actually five packs in this one. So now it makes more sense that this was $25. But I still think Walmart was higher on prices for a bunch of different things. You think my rating made sense to have Walmart as the more expensive option now that I figured this part of it out? I still think it was on a whole bunch of items. But that kind of threw me off on this. Okay, I don't know. We also do get a shiny... Cramorant, both original sized and the jumbo size. This is getting real tricky to figure out, but I I can't believe I'm saying this. I think Walmart is going to come back. So we got five booster packs of Shining Face. Now, I would say the only thing that uh, Target's ahead right now with on the pulls are going to be the, uh, I'll do the pack trick on this one, um, like the Amazing Rares, the VMAXs, and the regular Vs, but we got like one or two big hits, like pretty solid big hits. That could be it. We got more Peko. 
Jan Mega. All right, final four booster packs. We're just going to go straight through these. That's, that's anybody's game still. Oh, boss's orders. Losing ground here. Walmart's got to pull out the tricks right now. Final three. I mean, look, a Charizard would end it. A Charizard would end it. Walmart would be the... the there we go. Regular shiny. Not what we, exactly what we needed, but it's a shiny. This is going to be a photo finish. I don't know. As it stands, I think that Target still has the, the edge. I think Target still has the edge. More Peko. It's a Sijuai. Last booster pack is going to probably decide this thing right now. All right. If you're on Team Walmart, smash the like button for good luck. Snom, Grookey, Dreadnought, and a Dreadnought. What a way to end it. That's the end, but I'm still trying to sit here and decide which one of these actually won with the polls. I'm just going to have to make an executive decision, in my personal opinion, which can differ from yours. I'm going to say, I think it was a tie. So we're going to add one more point to each of these. Do you agree or disagree with that? But either way that went, it still looks to me like Target is the winner. But that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. Also, feel free to click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.